Guys, here we go. In Egyptian mythology, yes. cobras have a powerful connection to kingship. Yes. Goddesses take the shape of a cobra to protect the king. That's why they appear in the crowns of pharaohs. Now let's get on that for a second. The reason why you see a cobra on the, the pharaoh's um, crown is because it has to do with the kudalini. The kudalini energy is a spiritual energy coming from your up from your spinal cord, which interprets and um, details and translates information throughout your entire nervous system in your body. Now the thing is, the reason why the pharaoh can rule over people has this God, this Lord given right. Yes, Lord, not God. Not God. God is one of the children of the Lord. The Lord and higher creators give this individual, this supposed God, the, the right to rule because in the spiritual realm, he is part of the, the before creation story. A lot of you people don't know about these stories. A lot of people don't read about the book of Enoch and things of this nature. If you knew about this information, you would be very familiar with it. But this serpent that you see up there is called the, the Nega Serpent. The Nega Serpent is the 360 degrees of knowledge, the wise elder, the wise elder God. This is very important, people. You should, you should all know this information. This information is very, very essential. This information is very good to know because it deals with spirituality and spirituality consciousness. The Nega Serpent is related to all of humanity's history. There you go. That's information 101 for you guys.